after I left the Bridgewater Tower, I went into the National Trust shop and purchased a map which showed me various paths, cycleways and so on, on the estate. I tried to find a route that went amongst the woods because I knew the bluebells were out. This particular route heads north from the tower and if you follow it far enough, it, um, the final point of this walk is Ivinghoe Beacon, which is a famous viewpoint in the area. I didn't actually get that far on this occasion, but I still had a beautiful walk. We have very wet winters in England. In fact, we had a very cold and snowy winter this year as well. But the consequence is that around about May, when the new growth comes on the trees, everything's extremely green and f and fresh. The trees and the grass are this luminous green and the air is just fresh with moisture. It's gorgeous. And the bluebells, of course, have a wonderful scent and it's just a delightful thing to do to go and walk amongst the bluebell woods. Although this part of the walk seems to be enclosed in the woodlands, the path actually opened up on the left hand side at various points along the way and you got views of the surrounding countryside which was also nice. What was particularly nice about this uh, this particular park land was that uh, there were some very nice wide paths and there were a lot of families out cycling on it which is nice and the National Trust also provides wheelchairs and sort of golf buggy type contraptions which uh, you can use if you have accessibility problems. So the main paths in this park were really open to everybody which was nice and yet there were still a lot of minor paths where you could go and wander and spend some quiet time really. In addition to the bluebells there were a lot of other native plants, ferns, nettles, and cow parsley were also in bloom. It was really, really beautiful that day. If you'd like to see some more of this walk, either visit the website or look out for the other Ashridge video clips. Thanks.